Is this she so cute? Is this she so cute? She's so cute, she's so cute, she's so cute. And she's so calm. She's the best co-host ever because she doesn't say anything. I say everything and she just sits there and goes, She's here for the beer. She's here for the beer. And look, she's so dear. Is she the girl? She's so cute. Okay, so besides embarrassing my co-host, I decided to go uh, with a little weird with this one. I feel like a bunch of people online are doing like foodie things. Okay, so I went on a different direction than everybody else because I like being different than everybody else. So I went ahead and I got $60 nacho. So it's a $60 nacho beer. And I saw this and I said, this is interesting. She's looking at me. So I need to try this because this is crazy. And I was intrigued. I love nachos. Who doesn't love nachos? If you don't, I'm questioning you as a person and whether or not we can be friends. So let's give this a shot, shall we? Ooh. And more information on this. This is a double Indian pale ale, 8%, one pint. And look at, it's just, it's made in Hoof Hearted Brewing. So this is brewed and canned by Hoof Hearted Brewing in North Haven, distributed by 12%. So let's pour this thing. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So good. It smells so good. Why didn't it smell it yet? But Brody wants some of that. She wants some nachos. Yeah, all my years from being at a brewery is coming to fruition for this moment. So, ooh, this smells hoppy. Ooh, I'm, 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 look how hazy this looks. And mind you, the can itself, it's very, very cool. I love it. It's very, very interesting. I had to get it. I mean, look at that hand. That looked like my hand going to like, when I go to like the gas stations in the middle of the night or a bodega and I'm like, I'm not, I need nachos because I had a long night and I'm tired and I'm drunk. So here I go. All right. First, from first impression smells really hoppy. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. It's hazy. And guess what? Guess what cup I got? Getting licked by my co-host because that's what happens. Oh yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh my God. Not what I expected. And this is like a, I don't even know what to say. I don't even, wait a minute. It doesn't give me the natural vibe. It, it's a happy beer, but it's then there's no nachos in it. Thank God. I was a little worried about this one, but I, I was intrigued. But it's a great taste in beer. I feel like the hype of it being a nacho is not really a nacho. I feel like you're just buying the beer because it's interesting in the artwork. But I was a little, I'm a little let down because I felt like I was getting a nacho flavor and I wasn't getting it. What's it taste like? It tastes just like a regular double IPA. It's not anything spectacular. I mean, it's well made, granted, but it's not anything different that I've had before. There's no like nacho flavor. Like, where am I getting the uh, the tortilla chips? Where's the cheese? Where's the where where is it? Where am I getting my sixty dollars nachos? Where are they? Why are they in my mouth? So, it's a well made double IPA. I'm giving this a C. And taste is subjective. I know other people loved it. I'm a little let down because it didn't taste like a nacho. Because if you're gonna advertise it, be real, be real. Because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you out, buddy. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm here for. Some people like it. Some people don't. And my, and my coworker agrees. My co-host, my coworker, my life, everything. She's cute, and she was disappointed too because it wasn't a nacho. So see, brought out. See you later.